Now they've got to walk the walk. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure. Saul Canelo Alvarez, a four division multi. Sugar. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undis. The fans are ready, and it looks like. And there's the bell to start the round. Both men step back for just a moment. That hook had to hurt. Nice counter shot. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Did you see the nerves on a fighter stepping into the ring, Tom? It can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. Oh, my word. Canelo just got clipped. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Both of these fighters have had their moments. The Giants got to back out of trouble. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot. Clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. <laughs> Swinging big and missing big with that hook. Straight right just misses. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Beautiful counter punch. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think thinking, come on, Bo, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Three, three, two, three, two, three. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure. Beautiful counter punch. Oh, Leonard just got rocked. Sugar Ray is down on the canvas. At some point, the corner has to stop the fight for this fighter because he's not going to lay down. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagles hurt, your cheeks hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and be right and back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. Not the best start, but you know what? The corner now is down for them doing their job. But get through the round, regroup, right, freshen up, quick. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Let's talk about Leonard in that last round. 
They ring the bell, and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Swing and a miss with the hook. Nice counter shot. Has to be careful for that receipt. We've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. How are they still standing? What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. Like it never happened. Can they figure out the combination to this set? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Johnny, a lot of fighters focus on their defense with their hands up. This fighter focuses on their defense with their footwork. Moving on those angles, staying out of danger. Outside fights create so much unpredictable movement. Move left to right, bump forward, bump backwards. You don't know if they're going to attack or defend. Nightmare fighters. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. And a round that seemed like an eternity. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. That hook won't score. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. No rest for the weary. Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. Swing and a miss with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline. We respect both fighters and each other because no one can do anything out of time. Canelo Alvarez just got rocked in a big way. Well, this is what he does, going right after the challenger. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Neither one of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecard. A very competitive round. Canelo in serious jeopardy here going to the canvas. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. And there's the bell to start the round. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Punch, counter punch. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this bout? It's going to be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fight a fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. 
It's all offense all the time. You'd like to see more jabs. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Oh, my word. Canelo just got clipped. So he's back on his feet, but he's got to somehow turn this around. What resilience to be down. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. They ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a horse on that. He's got a he's got a bluff him. That right hook won't score. Nice exchange here from both men. That counter shot lands. And that hook misses. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. I would say the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there, and you're letting the shots go. You've got power, you've got speed, you've got power. Sugar Ray Leonard days! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you still want to fight? He's back on his feet, but his opponent is licking his chops right now. Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in round once. He knows what shot works and where to land it. Then try and do it again. He's just not got to get triggered. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. He scores with the counter. Let's talk about Leonard in that last round. Let's see how the game plan... And there's the bell to start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full power, because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. <laughs> you think the pace will slow down it picks up <laughs> looking to land the hook <laughs> when you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are Look back in the history books. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweight, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. But it hurts, and you can imagine that being you. You're the size of an average man. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges.
They walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. This is the last for cut. You can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're gonna get knocked out. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. Good counter punch. He's got the advantage halfway through the round. Well, he's back up, but now what, Johnny? Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? What well, now is about getting back to the corner, fresh up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to gee you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. <laughs> Right, just misses. So we enter the final 10 seconds here in a pretty dominant display. A pretty lopsided decision there. A